Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I wanted to share my everyday concealer tips for mature skin that help me to get my concealer to lay down smooth, to not settle in my creases, and to last all day without fading. I'm also gonna share my top four concealers with you today as well. So I did a video on how to stop your concealer from creasing a few years ago, and I gave you all my tips and tricks in that one very in-depth, starting with skincare and going all the way through. And in today's video, I just wanted to do more of a quick everyday concealer when you know you don't have a ton of time but you still want your concealer to look great because you know a lot of times we get into a makeup rut where we've been used to applying our makeup the exact same way since we were younger now our skin's older and we haven't adjusted anything and so you really need to just adjust placement and how many layers you put on and things like that and then you can have more success with your concealer so i'm not going to give you any extra skin prep steps here i'm just assuming that you have already moisturized and have your sunscreen on. So I think one of the most important concepts about the under eye area is that less is more. So you definitely want to have less product going on under your eyes. So if in the past you were a person who put your foundation on first and you put your foundation all the way up under your eyes and then you put your concealer on top of your foundation, that could be something that's causing your concealer to crease and that's just adding extra layers under your eyes that don't necessarily need to be there. Of course, this is going to depend on how much darkness you have under your eyes, but I feel like for, you know, the vast majority of people who don't have super dark under eye circles, you don't really need two layers of color product under your eyes. When I apply my foundation, I don't put any up here underneath my eyes. The highest I go with it is right up here up to the bottom side of my eye bag or what would be considered the bottom of my orbital bone. And then the second thing I do is I never apply the concealer directly from the doe foot applicator because you end up with way too much concealer under your eye if you do that. So instead, I just wipe the doe foot off on the opening of the container. Then placement is really important. I place a little wedge shape of concealer at the inner corner where most of my darkness is that I wanna conceal seal and I don't put any directly under my eye. I do put a little bit out at the outer corner to lift and brighten and I've switched from applying concealer with my finger which is how I used to do it and now I apply it with my A506 brush and I designed this brush specifically to lay down the concealer in a perfectly consistent and smooth way because you know when you're tapping it on with your finger it does remove some of the concealer and it gives you much more of a chunky application. This brush is like the same size and shape as your finger, but it doesn't pick up the concealer. It just lays all the concealer down in such a smooth and consistent way. It keeps the bulk of the concealer in the inner corner where I want it, and it just feathers out the smallest amount of concealer over here where your crow's feet and most of your wrinkles are. So I get a really thin coating here, and I get most of it concentrated at the inner corner. And then the last step is I always set my under eye concealer. Setting your concealer will definitely help it to stay out of your wrinkles. Your concealer is liquid and it takes it a while to dry. And as it dries, it can move around and migrate into your wrinkles. So you really wanna set before your skin has a chance to start moving and making the makeup migrate into your wrinkles. I love this NYX Mineral Matte Powder for this because it's super lightweight, it's super sheer, but it doesn't give flashback in photography. So I just sprinkle a little bit of it out into the cap. I use my e.l.f. blush brush. For this, I pick up a little bit, I tap it off, and then starting at the inner corner, I just press the brush into the concealer, but I make sure that I don't press in towards my nose. I kind of lay it to the side of my nose and then make sure that I press with a little bit of an outward pull, but I'm not really pulling on my skin. I'm just making sure that when I press, I'm not causing my skin to bunch up towards the inner corner. So let me just show you the concealer really quickly and you can see how smooth and nice and beautiful and crease free it looks. So that's it. Two easy steps to getting your concealer on really quickly, really easy for an everyday look that you'll be happy with all through the day. So as I mentioned in the beginning, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite concealers. 
the ones that I think are hands down the best ones as far as not settling in your creases and looking nice and smooth all day and also being hydrating and giving enough coverage. My number one is Lancome Tint E Dull Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I wear it in the shade 215 Buff Neutral. It's the one that I use most days. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll just put a little bit of this on because it looks so beautiful. It's so hydrating. My under eyes never look dry. I don't need a ton of coverage. I wouldn't say it's like full, full coverage, but it definitely gives me enough coverage. It's not sheer and it's the best as far as not settling into your wrinkles out of all the concealers that I've ever tried. And that is a ton of concealer. So that's a great one. If you're looking for a really good concealer, give that one a try. Then if you have really dark under eye circles, the one with the best pigmentation that will cover your dark circles in one coat is the Dermablend Cover Care Concealer. I wear this one in 23N. This is a great concealer for giving you coverage. This one is also really emollient, so it doesn't dry out my under eyes. A little of this goes a long way. If you use too much of this, you will end up with it settling in your wrinkles. I actually kind of like this one applied best with a damp beauty blender because it does sheer it out a little bit for me. It can look a little bit heavy if you put on too much, but if you have you know, struggle with really dark, dark under eyes and you just want to use one product that'll cover them, this is the way to go. Then another concealer that I was really wowed by was the Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift Concealer. This is such a beautiful concealer. It goes on so smoothly and it doesn't settle into wrinkles. It's very hydrating. It's very emollient. I tested this. I love this. I own it. I don't wear it very often, I have to admit, simply because it only comes in three shades and they don't have a shade match for me. Like this is what they consider their light to medium shade. This is very light. It does have like a peachy undertone to it. So if you need color correcting, I would use this maybe as your color corrector. You know, three shades in a concealer, it just doesn't do it for me. This is the Lancome. This is the Derma Blend. This is the Trish McAvoy. And this is the L'Oreal. Just notice this one has a lot of fragrance in it. Limited shade range aside, it is a great concealer. And I think that because it is kind of pinky, it is really good at color correcting. And then a drugstore favorite is L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. This one is more of a lightweight concealer. This is gonna be more for people who don't have a lot of darkness, who maybe don't wear a lot of makeup. If you go for a really natural, really no makeup makeup look, but you do have some things that you wanna cover up under your eyes, or you just want to unify the whole eye area, brighten it up, have it look more dewy, more fresh, then this is gonna be the concealer for you. And also if you have dry skin, this is super hydrating. It really feels so good and never feels drying. It has a radiant finish. So of course I like it with the powder on it, but some people prefer uh, just leaving the radiant finish so that it looks more dewy and youthful under their eyes. And then this is a great choice. It doesn't offer as much coverage as the other concealers, but it is a beautiful concealer that wears beautifully and doesn't settle into your wrinkles. So that's it for today's video. Those are my top easy everyday tips for getting your concealer on so that it is crease proof and it stays in place all day along with my top recommendations for my top four concealers for more mature skin. So I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.